Good morning, folks. Uh, we're gonna go out and look for some more adders today. Uh, I've heard a few records of, of grass snakes being out, but I don't think we'll find any this time around. Hopefully in a few few days or maybe a week or so, we'll have a look. So yeah, let's go herping. And as you can see, we had a bit of snow. Uh, yesterday we got a bit of um, a bit of a downfall, um, and it's been raining the last few days as well. But the adders are amazingly out. Uh, so this little male here, he's a melanistic one. He is uh, he's going through through the last stages of shedding. Uh, because the males actually shed before they go and go and breed with with females um, So so this is kind of the first the first t Thing to tick off on the to-do list is is getting shed and then and then go and find some ladies uh, But yeah, absolutely stunning guy. This guy has some some white uh, Pigments on on his lips and white scales. It's actually snowing a bit now, which is weird um and he's still out sunning, which is amazing. Uh, they are such a hardy, hardy, hardy snake, um, which can, it's like four degrees in the air, which is, yeah, it's mental, it's mental. But we'll leave him be, I'm not gonna disturb him this early morning. Uh, he can lick up some sun and we'll go and have a look for some more adders. <laughs> Just look at this, there's, there's actually adders out in this stuff. It's about three and a half, four degrees in the air. Uh, you can hear the ice cracking beneath my boots uh, and I'm at the moment I'm just looking for birds uh, I want to try and photograph some birds uh, I know there's a few cool species here like a long-tailed tit and um, and some cool woodpeckers so I'll go and have a look for them first so the Sun has a chance to heat up a bit um, but yeah it's mental to think there's actually snakes out in this uh, so hopefully we'll find some more later on. I think this is so cool. Holy shit. All right, let's see if we can find some more snakes. So I got to see the long-tailed tit. Unfortunately, it was a bit too far up for me to take pictures of. Uh, I got to see some go European go golden finches, gold finches, whatever they're called in, in English, uh, stilets in Norwegian. Um, and I came across another adder in snow and stuff. I, I know this fella, I've seen him a few times before. And I know he's a bit shy, so he might go back into his hole if I come too close, but we'll we'll go and have a look. Yeah, he's not too happy, he's going in. He's pretty though. Very, very pretty snake. Gorgeous patterning on him. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll give him some space so he can come out and, and sun bask a bit. Uh, heat up, get his mojo on. So yeah, let's go and find some more snakes. We actually got a second reptile species today, so that's uh, that's actually 40% of the Norwegian reptile fauna in one day. That's amazing. Um, so we got the adder already, and I don't know if you can see him. Oh, you probably can now. That is a viviparous lizard, so Toka vivipara. We just call it the either the lizard because it's the only four-legged reptile we have in Norway, uh, or the northern lizard uh, here in Norway. Um, I don't know if no, I will not be able to catch him to show off the beautiful belly. Um, but these these guys have some really stunning colors on their belly. Uh, they're usually either orange or yellow, or some might even have like a turquoise tint to them, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that one day. <laughs> but for now, I reckon. Oh, he's out again. <laughs> Peekaboo. He's cute though. Hey, very cute. Cute little animal. Um, maybe I'll. Nah, I won't. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him be. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> so we are out again today, and today we're actually going to look for grass snakes, uh, which is another uh, one of three species here in Norway of of, of snakes. Uh, so we might be lucky. We'll see. Um, and I've actually cheated. I was out here yesterday, uh, and we found seven. Um, but my camera died, so I couldn't record it, unfortunately. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful today. Uh, so we'll have a good squiz and see what we find. So this here is the snake we went after today. Um, it's a European grass snake, uh, Natrix Natrix. Uh, the last few years the species have been split up a bit uh, and we now have the European grass snake, the Natrix Natrix, and the bud grass snakes, Natrix Helvetica. And the Helvetica is from, well, if my memory serves me right, it's from around uh, the border between Germany and France and westwards and uh, the Natrix Natrix is eastwards. So we have the Natrix Natrix here in Norway. Um, I'm probably gonna try and grab him so you can have a closer look on him. They're absolutely stunning. Usually a grayish, blackish body, uh, quite dark head, beautiful yellow spots behind the neck, usually. Uh, they do come in, in different grades of, of color and you also get them in pure black. But I'll try and grab this one and uh, we'll see how we go. This here is the European grass snake, Natrix Natrix, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're absolutely stunning animals. We sometimes call them the anaconda of the Nordic, or the Nordic anaconda, because it's our largest snake, and they live around bodies of water where they hunt frogs, toads, and fish. Uh, absolutely stunning animal. The females are, of course, the larger ones. They grow up to about a meter 20. The males, like this one, is a bit smaller. Uh, Absolutely stunning, stunning little male. He has some beautiful colors on him and it's not as dirty as the other individuals we've seen today. This is snake number nine today. Uh, but we have some photographers down here that I wanted to take some in situ shots. So I, I found them some snakes and I didn't want to disturb them. Um, so they seem happy, um, which is good. Uh, and yeah, I reckon I'll let this guy go uh, and just leave him to his business. Uh, the grass snakes have several defense mechanisms when they encounter predators or weird humans that like picking them up. Uh, they do fake striking, so they will bite at you with their mouth closed. Uh, they also do something called musking, so they release a nasty substance from their cloaca. And this guy already ruined my pants. Uh, I swear I did not pee myself, it was him. Um, so I will smell like snake poo for the next day. And they also do play dead. But if he, this guy will let me go, he can be on his merry way and she did not want to go there we go bye awesome let's see if we can find some more snakes always good to see see more snakes i have spotted yet another grass snake that are extremely common in this area uh he is not happy though <laughs> and he's gone uh he is in this hole somewhere. Uh, there. Oh, I can't see him really. Oh well. Here we go, grass snake number 10. Um, absolutely stunning to see 10 snakes today. Uh, quite good for a country that had a wee bit of snow just a few days back, uh, as you saw earlier in my video. Uh, but I reckon snake number 10 is a good place to stop the video. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I'll definitely be back to this area. I'll let him go now. He's not too happy with me. Um, so yeah, I reckon we'll stop the video there. Um, oh, he threw my laces. Um, I reckon we'll stop the video there. I'm definitely going to be back to this spot uh, in, I don't know, a week, a few days. Uh, a few days a week, somewhere around there. Uh, because then the mating starts, the females get out and we get something called a mating ball where you have uh, one female and somewhere between 5 and 30 males going at it. Uh, so we're definitely going to have a look for that and see if we can record it. That would be awesome. Um, absolutely love this spot. Tons and tons of grass snakes. No adders, unfortunately, because uh, there's a dog park close by and I think the dog owners have got to town on, on, on the adders. Either the dog owners or the dogs themselves. Um, unfortunately but yeah definitely be back here look for some mating grass snakes and i'll see you in the next one